Greetings and welcome to another video. This video, I am going to go over the latest announcement from Linden Lab. It was posted about four hours ago. It is now 10.53 p.m. EST on the 4th of April, 2024. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're not going to waste any time in this one. So this announcement has to do with the Second Life 21st birthday celebrations for this year. As you can see, it's revealing the theme. So we're just going to go over this announcement, then I'm going to say a few words. Save the date. On June 23rd, Second Life will be turning 21. The 21st annual Second Life birthday celebration, the SL21B, will be held from June the 21st through July the 21st. Get ready for a month of fun-filled days of live music, performances, shopping, and amazing community exhibits. This year's birthday theme is Elements. We'll get back to this in a couple of minutes. This theme invites us to explore the fundamental components that make up our vast virtual landscape and the diverse communities within it. From the fiery passion of creators and artists to the fluid adaptability of our social environments, from the solid bonds within our communities to the fresh breezes of innovations that propel us forward Elements is a celebration of the core forces that shape our experiences in Second Life. Just like last year, your exhibit does not need to stay in theme. Share your Second Life passions with us, your interests, your communities, your world. Every year we celebrate because of you, the amazing and creative residents who have chosen to call Second Life home. What has drawn you into this world and what keeps you here? These annual festivities are an opportunity to show us what fuels your second life. Let's celebrate that together. This year, we are again offering two types of exhibitor regions, general rated regions and adult rated regions. If you would like to participate as an exhibitor with a presence at SL21B, then please fill out this exhibitor form no later than May the 12th. Over the next month, keep an eye on our blog for more opportunities to participate in the SL21B celebrations as a volunteer, a performer, and merchant. Let's have a little conversation, shall we? Back in December 2023 was a Linden Lab blog post. At the end of that post was a little teaser of the theme for this year's Sale 21B, which was to show the adult spicier side of Second Life. I will link that particular blog post in the description below so you can read it for yourself. Well, it's a different theme now. Elements. Have you ever wondered about things, things like, I wonder what happened to them, or they are usually present for this kind of thing, but where are they? I wonder what happens when a person that normally wears an eye patch suddenly loses it one day. I mean, would the loss of that eye patch reveal a glass eye, an empty eye socket, or a normal eye? It just makes me wonder when something that was once there, it is no longer there. What happened to it? I, I, I just can't put my finger on it, but there's definitely something missing. And, and that makes me wonder. That makes me wonder. Within the last two, you know, well, months, there's been some loud conversations within and outside of Second Life concerning things that may or may not have happened. We really do not know for sure. That got me to wondering as well. So I started delving down a rabbit hole and I saw a couple of patterns. The type that you can see in a patchwork quilt where the quilt is made up of different colors of fabric sewn together to make a quilt. Sure, you, you can have a single colored quilt and it would be just that, a quilt. But to make a patchwork quilt, it would have to 
be made out of patches of fabric in, you know, different colors. By the way, have you ever noticed that you sleep better on clean bed sheets just out of the dryer? That's the best type of sleep I usually get. I'm not really sure why I'm talking about linen. Let's go over this recent announcement from Linden Lab. <laughs> pretty words they are pretty words but does it really say anything at all no no it does not the diverse communities within it yeah that's true there's a lot of diverse communities within it fiery passions of creators yeah absolutely artists to the fluid adaptability of our social environments that's true too from the solid bonds within our communities to the fresh breezes of innovations that propel us forward. This, what the hell is this? Fresh breezes of innovation that propel us forward. They are squeezing elemental words into the description of the birthday theme. Well, it's pretty good wordplay. I'll give it that much. Does it really say anything to me in my opinion? It does not. Just like last year, your exhibit does not need to stay in theme. Well, what is the point of having a damn theme? Disappointing with the things that you mostly see are not in theme. Very annoying. Very annoying. In my opinion, if your exhibit at the SL21B does it need to stay in theme? Then why have a theme in the first place? Okay, let's take this as an example. Why have a rule or a policy in place when perhaps those rule makers and policy makers are the most offending ones that breaks those policies and rules, but yet... The rest of us are expected to follow them. If you were to go to the SL community forums on the Second Life website, you would know that there was a 50-page thread that has been closed regarding the previous Linden Lab announcement. In that thread, I had replied with my thoughts concerning the Second Life 21st birthday. And those thoughts were that we will know what the outcome of the events that may or may not have taken place with in the last, you know, two months, depending on what this year's theme will be, if it was changed from what the theme was going to be that was indicated in the December 2023 Linden Lab blog post. And well, there we have it. The theme this year is elements. It is not the spicier, darker side of Second Life. And in my opinion, that speaks volumes to me. That's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you the next one. Bye.